off. Well, that one could have been gapped. That one could have been jumped. And nope, that one's not really. Here's a table. Nope, wasn't ready for it. Another one. That one I got. Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am super excited because the trails north of Sagamore Mine Pit have opened. So those are the intermediate and advanced trails that are normal single track, not the adaptive single track. So they're going to be more um, what we're used to seeing and not so wide and stuff like that. Um, I love the adaptive trails. But for those of us that are used to riding regular single track, they seem a bit wide and maybe not as much of a thrill for us. But I think they're great anyway, especially Syracuse. I ride Syracuse all the time and I've done a couple of videos there. The cornering video I did at Syracuse, so that's cool. So anyway, um, <clears throat> we're going to go up there and ride that. I know one of the trails is called Dynamite and I forget what the other one's called, but I'll mention it when I get there. Um, and this is my first ride. And as most of you know, I am pretty cautious on my first ride and I know there's going to be some more advanced features up there. So I'm not going to necessarily ride all the crazy advanced stuff. That's something I like to progress towards or understand when I'm riding before I do it. But I don't know how crazy and advanced it's going to be. So <laughs> I just have no idea, but I was told there's some pretty intense stuff in there. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So... Let's go do this. <laughs> cool. Yeah, the tape is no longer up. So <laughs> this is called Bison Run. <laughs> so brand new, first time I've ever been on it. <laughs> see how this is. You can definitely see that it is a lot narrower than <laughs> the adaptive trails. Right off the bat. Look at these trees. Woo. Yeah, a little tricky. All right. I think I'm getting <laughs> handle of the character of this trail already. Pretty tight. <laughs> so you can see where there's all these trees that were down. This is what delayed the opening of this trail. But this, so far, not really been any features but it's definitely had its uh, challenges in the sense of trees and tight trail so far Because to compare this to another Cayuna Trail so far, I'm going to say it feels more like backcountry. I decided to ride my Salsa Rustler just because I'm not quite sure what this trail has to offer yet. Might as well have full suspension. <laughs> Alright. This is a a worker. Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's pretty up here. Wow. <laughs> well, I did just do my first set of jumps. Saw that climbing. I uh, forgot to turn the GoPro on and the downhill part had some jumps in it. Rollers. Pretty cool. Whew. All right. Let's remember to turn the GoPro on for now. 
<clears throat> That's cool. <laughs> people are making that a berm. That'll become a berm. It's just the trail's too new. People haven't written that in yet. Some roots. Wow. Got a little bit of everything here. This is actually the least like Cayuna Trail that I've ridden. I mean, Cruiser's Kettle, but that's also not part of the Cayuna system, although it's close enough to where they just kind of tied it together. <laughs> so all those people complaining about these overly groomed Cayuna flow trails, well, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Not overly groomed flow trail by any means right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I made that, but I had to lean into the tree. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a little more momentum and uh, a little bit of that little handlebar juju to get through there. And it would have been smoother. <laughs> and I don't even know if that got captured because... I barely turned on the GoPro and uh, tight. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> poke, poke. That's where you can do the bar juju. Poke it to the left. Poke it to the right. Poke it back to the left. Oh, you didn't know I could sing? Oh my gosh. You people are missing out. <laughs> There's some more pokey action and some random rakes. Oh, well, that was a little wider. <laughs> Not quite so gnar on the handlebar. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that. That's pretty flat. <laughs> I mean, I could do that with the Hey Duke more. No problem. Let's see here. This looks more intimidating than it actually is. I'm not going fast enough, but I got through it. Whew. I don't know what this is to the right. Oh, just a roller. There's some <laughs> definitely more advanced rock garden. Ooh, work. Oh, wow. Ooh, more rocks ahead. You could launch that if you want. Sweet. Get up. Oh, that had a <laughs> I needed more speed. That had a dip and my back wheel went in the dip. Total case monster right there. <laughs> so, this is first day this is open. Just open this morning. So it is a little soft in areas. It'll get ridden in and be a lot faster and better, more worn in. Here's where some serious tree damage took place. You can even see the 
weeds have started to grow back in on the trail. <laughs> but that'll all change once people ride it in. So, lots of rocks. I have to say, to be able to ride from my property right to this gym, I'm 2.6 miles in, about 20 minutes from riding from my property. Oh, here's a little hit. Wasn't really up to speed for that, but all right. More rocks, but yeah. I'm pretty stoked about this. And we haven't even looked at dynamite yet. Dynamite is supposed to be more advanced than this. Oh my gosh, there's like parts of this trail that you've kind of gotten growing in. I don't mind that because then the riders will wear it in and it'll be more single track. Riding this trail many, many times, so. I will get to hit that thing. Oh, here's a little launcher. Let's make sure. Yep, oh, it does have a nice flat landing. <laughs> make sure it doesn't have a big kind of gap after it. That's the last one I hit. Oh, there was a little kind of subtle double. Wow, once I get to know this trail. Yeah. Take the bigger side without looking at it. Here we go. Now we're talking. Whoa. I couldn't really see those with all the weeds. Oh, and I'm dripping all over the GoPro, so I better clean that off so the video doesn't basically get ruined. <laughs> Hmm. Probably one of the worst things about running a chesty, <laughs> which is, means the GoPro's down here, um, is that I sweat on it. <laughs> and there's been a number of times <laughs> that I sweat on the lens, don't realize it, and I'm filming a video for you guys. And. <laughs> ends up having blurry spots on it. So if you ever wonder what the blurry spots are sometimes, probably because I sweat on the video or on the camera and then I decided it didn't intrude enough. Well, that could have been gapped. That could have been jumped. And nope, that one's not really. It's a table. Nope, wasn't ready for it. Another one. That one I got. Wait. It's hard to see what's in the terrain. <laughs> All this overgrowth. All right. What am I dealing with here? Oh, just good old rock garden. Maintain my momentum. Listen to my bike clatter. Didn't quite clear that one. I made a mistake there because I had my seat down. When I saw that table, I forgot that my seat was already down. I pushed the lever and my seat went up. <laughs> So I couldn't really talk when I went on that table. Oops. Definitely looks like I'm on the high point right now. This is very pretty though. I like this. Oh, uh, yeah, I could have rode that, but. Whew. Next. 
and it looks to be a downhill hit right there. So I'm gonna lower my seat and back up a little bit and see what it is. May or may not hit it depending on what I see. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I overshot it. <laughs> That's fun. That was like pretty well set up flow line there. Huh, what's this? Oh, between the trees. Whoa, that's tight. Oh gosh. I don't know if I can zip through that. Then I lose speed for this. Oh, big massive rock art. Best approach for those. Find your line. Get off your brakes. Oh, this section is pretty fun. I'm almost starting to wonder if, uh... oh, here we go. All right, so there's dynamite. So, bison run, dynamite. As much as I want to do this right now, I want to stick with reviewing bison run and I'll come back and do another video for dynamite. That is supposed to be pretty gnarly from what I heard. So we'll see, obviously my first run through it, I'm not gonna go gonzo. Mm. All right, let's continue on bison run. I am 5.41 miles, that's from my property. I'm gonna guess that it's almost a mile, so we're gonna approximate four, four and a half miles in so far so i don't think there's a whole lot left to bison run we'll see <clears throat> so if i was a great bison run on the difficulty level I would definitely rate it as a more difficult intermediate. I think most intermediate riders can certainly come to this. That was fun. Trail. <laughs> most intermediate riders can come to this trail. <laughs> um, but there are some that might need to walk some things. So keep in mind, the rule on that is if you're riding the trail and you need to walk a feature, walk over the feature. Don't go around it and widen the trail. And certainly don't ride around a feature and make your own ride around. Get off your bike, walk over the feature, help keep single track single. Ooh, this looks like a fun flowy section. Oh, there was a rock drop on my right. I missed. And dripping sweat like crazy. Hopefully not on the lens again. There's a small rock. Huh? Here we go. Oh, that's a rough rock garden. <sighs> Oh, I just quit that tree. That's because I'm swinging my handlebars all over. Oh. Any drips? No drips. Oh, okay, of course I sweat all over again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back at the trailhead. I only did bison run. 
I have 6.62. I'm going to subtract roughly a mile, so 5.6 miles. It's probably not quite a mile from my place, so maybe 5.7 miles of bison run is going to be my guess. Um, until I look at Strava, I won't know for sure. But um, it took me at that kind of casual pace, because I'm pretty sure you noticed I wasn't going all out. I was going pretty casual. Uh, 52 minutes to get right where I'm at right now. Just the trailhead. Most people will park here, ride that, come back to the trailhead. So that means that dynamite has got to be pretty short, probably two miles maybe. Um, so I'll have to do that next. You guys want to look at the map? Oh, okay. All right. So here's the map, here's where we started. Like rode this, rode the hiking trail, did the entire bison run loop, and there's dynamite, and back. So, pretty cool. Okay, there you have it, bison run. Uh, super awesome trail. I know I said I was gonna do dynamite and bison, but I don't wanna do them together. Bison Run is enough of a video. This video is long enough, <laughs> but you can really get a, a character of the trail. Um, and I'll do Dynamite in a separate video um, soon. So check out the remains of the old mining days. And over there is Sagamore Mine Lake. So it used to be Iron Ore Mine. And I'm super stoked that they were able to repurpose this area after nature reclaimed it to be for recreation and you know lots of mountain biking obviously and super awesome trails like the one we just rode really appreciate your support for my channel please like and subscribe peace